Okay, so I just wanted to share a trick I've been using to measure uh, ZBrush sculpts for 3D printing. So the first thing I do is I go to the Polymesh 3D and I initialize a 2 by 2 by 2 cube. Uh, I'll turn on Polyframe. So the next step is to, or turn off perspective, is to hide everything except for one side. Uh, delete hidden. Um, I'll line it up by holding shift when dragging the view around. I'll snap it towards me and then I'll go up to brush and I will create an insert mesh and I'll make a new one. So what this is is a little target that I'm going to use to be able to snap from point to point to quickly measure a sculpt. Uh, so next I need to do another initialize. So now I want to set up my um, scale so my 3D printer is a 12 by 12 by 12 um, centimeter build space. So I'm going to do a quick initialize. So this is my uh, build area of my 3D printer, which I'm going to now append to the sculpt that I have in mind. So subtools, I'll go append. And where are we? Are there we go, Polymesh 3D. Uh, I'll turn on transparency. Where is he? There he is. Okay, so now I'll just scale him up to a point. Uh, so I want to print him so he's sort of up to his shoulders is in one print, and the head can be in another print. So I need to scale him up uh, to a point where they fit. Okay, so head and shoulder, the sorry, shoulders and neck sort of fit in that section. And yep, the head and hat area should all fit in that area. Okay, so that's going to be my scale. So now I'll just turn on um, polyframe again. I'm going to snap my transpose move line from the bottom corner to the top. And I know this is 120 uh, s millimeters, so I'm going to go to preferences down to transpose units. Uh, I'll set my units to millimeters just to make it easy to read. And here it says calibration distance, I'll go 120. So now this list line is 120 millimeters long, which means I can sort of uh, measure my, um, my model. I'll turn off ghost, uh, yep, transparency. Uh, so it gets a little tricky sometimes to be able to snap to the right uh, point from side to side to measure distances. So my, um, my trick is to, and I'll come down to this polymesh uh, 3D, and I'm going to... What am I going to do? I'm going to grab my inset mesh brush. I'm just going to draw a big uh, target on the top of the hat. Only because I want to just delete hidden and uh, get rid of that box. Now that I've got my scale, uh, I'm done with it for now. So if I wanted to measure from um, shoulder to shoulder, I could draw a target on one shoulder, a target on the other shoulder. And now if I grab my move tool, I should be able to quite easily snap from, uh, let me just turn on solo, that'll make it a little easier. Uh, and double, turn on double sided so you can see uh, both middle vertices. And I should be able to click and drag and snap to each point and now I know it's 100 millimeters wide. So the same if I wanted to know um, how thick the ears are, I'll draw a plane on one side, a plane on the other side, quickly switch to solo, transpose, just go from one centre point to the other, and they're about two millimetres uh, thick. It also helps to be able to yeah, visualise how, how thick the piece is. So I've already got one on the hat, so I'll draw 
another one at the back of the hat, switch to solo, and snap from one middle point to the next, and it's 45 millimeters thick at that point. So I should be able to quite easily get the uh, approximate height. Draw one at the bottom, and draw one at the top. Quickly we go to solo, and snap from one to the other. So it's approximately yeah, 186 millimeters tall. Uh, so this is really handy for uh, measuring wall thicknesses. If you print with um, a printing service online, you'll usually get a, a list of do's and don'ts. You know, it can't be, has to be at least this thick. Can't be uh, a hole bigger or smaller than well, whatever it is. However, however big, four millimeters, let's say, to to let material out of hollow prints. And uh, yeah, using this little trick for measuring. Uh, makes it quite easy. Once you've decided on how big it's going to be, it makes it quite easy to find out all the little measurements. And it's 41 millimeters. Okay, I hope that helps someone more than that helped me. I'll catch you later.